guys, so this is going to be our next tutorial of, um, basically this one's going to be like retouching the face, like, you know, smoothing the skin, the, you know, clearing out blemishes, anything, anything just to give it like that pop, that look, as you can see, um, the model is my friend Delaney, so, yeah, she's really pretty, I, first, what I'm gonna do is so you see the background, the background layer. Okay, so you press Command J, and it copies into a new layer, like the, the same, like it duplicates. Okay, and then you go to mode from normal, you go to vivid light. Okay, and on vivid light, okay, now on um, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. And now on Vivid Light here, you press Command I. So you invert it. You invert the photo, as you can see. Okay. And then now you go to Filter, Other, High Pass. And you have the radius at 24. 24. Okay. 24. Click OK. Now you go to filter blur Gaussian blur hope I'm saying it right and you put the radius at 4 and then you click OK now here comes the front part and now see you have the layer it should it should show like gray it should show gray like like little gray texture whatever um, so yeah, as you can see like if you go back to like normal on this it's gonna look like that it's gonna look like if it's like a pastel gray drawing so you go back to vivid light okay and now you go to mask and before you click mask you hold down alt or option you click it you click on the mask now it should show like a black a black layer okay and then now what you do is you should go to your brush okay and then before the next step you go into your your brush preset picker and you have the hardness at 0%. If you put it more at 50%, you can see look what happens. It's too rough. It's too rough, okay? We don't need that. So what you do is you go you go to 1 or even 0%. I usually do 0%. It's my opinion. And then you just basically light, well not really lightly, but you basically just brush it off, brush it off, brush it off. You don't really want to hit like any areas that's kind of like very like whitish, because then it'll give like a red effect. Okay. And uh, let me see. Nice. I felt like doing this tutorial so then cause I've had people ask me oh how do you make the skin so like flawless I'm just like oh, it's like uh, it's just these tools so you know just saying oh maybe I should just maybe I should just you know make a tutorial of this no, I don't like that though. Okay, so now as you look at it now, okay, the skin is like smooth, smooth as heck. Okay, um, sometimes you know if you want, you can go and like do the neck area. Um, let's say if she had like her fingers like on her lip, you'd want to put some there, right? Over there. Over there, one off, nice. Okay, now she kind of looks like what? Like she kind of looks like a plastic doll. So <laughs> much love to her, much respect to her. She's an amazing person. So now you just go to opacity, and then you just change your opacity. So as you can see, when you go to zero, it's like before, and then hundred, it's like plastic screen. So you just it to 
60 so you can still see before after before after right right okay now next thing what you do is you go back to background okay I am basically well you guys don't have to do it this is basically the end but sometimes you know if I want to give that glamorous look you know I will do this I will repeat it again so copy a new layer Cop I mean copy the layer copy the same layer the background okay and now go to soft light and in soft light you're like okay so what do you do in soft light so what you do is right now you're on soft light and now you hide it you go to background you go to select you go to color range and now it should show like sampled colors and whatnot but you go to skin tone and on skin tone you find the uh, let me see I would go like you'd want to like get only the skin area right you'd want the skin area to be white like you could do it there but then watch what's gonna happen so I'm just gonna do a 100 okay a 100 And now it should like be covering like basically this and this and I guess it, it also got the her hair parts of the wall. Okay. So next step is you click on the on your keyboard Q. Okay. And now it's all red. And now because it's red, it's basically the things that are not selected and the things that are showing. It, the, the, the showing like color and whatnot like it's just a regular picture that uh, then that's basically what's being uh, selected okay so now what you do is um, you should have your what is it the background no the foreground sorry the foreground it should be red once you paint it and you want to paint everything but the face okay You can click X because it X it revert it inverts it now to like the like erasing thing, and then you erase where the forehead is. So you can see when I get somewhere here, because you can tell it's been selected. The redness, you gotta remove all of that. explain to you why we're doing this though a quick second you want to cover the eyebrows the eye um, like her retinas is it retinas it's eye basically eye <laughs> okay why am I making it so complicated <laughs> um, so yeah let me try to get this up here perfect Perfect. Now uh, just maybe just a little bit of the redness though. Cool. Okay. Now back to the erasing thing. Okay, erase this area though, erase this area. Now with the the lips you need to cover it you need to cover it okay you need to cover it and uh okay 
should be good now. Uh, just gotta see if there's anything else. Sometimes you can see some of like that redness spots. Some of the skin. See, as you, as you can see, I missed that area. Okay. Okay, yeah. Well, uh, we can we can work with that for sure. Okay. Now we go back there. I'm gonna click back the queue. Okay. And now, as you can see, once you click on the add layer mask, okay, on the the layer that shows the the soft light mode, you click it. It's gonna show that. Now it, it kind of makes her look very um, suspicious or so. So what you do is, of course, you go back to the opacity. And then as you can see, you put it like, you can go almost like close to like when it never had some, but you want to have some of that glow. So you can go and put it at, uh, at 40. And then at 40, that's pretty good. See, you could also do it if you want to do an overlay. Look at that. Hard light. It's hard light and overlay the same thing, basically. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you could do an overlay. Overlay looks cool. Or soft light. Doesn't really matter. It's, what, it's whatever you prefer, right? And um, yeah, that's that's basically it. That's basically how I I retouch my my photos. That's how I do my skin. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something from here. And if you're new to this channel and you want to see more videos, please subscribe. I will be trying to post more videos. I'm just really busy. I recently found a job, so I'm happy about that. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video, this tutorial, and take care.